it is finally Friday, you guys. So we are going to do another demo. Uh, things have been rocking over here. Thanks so much for all of the, the great comments. Uh, glad you guys are liking what we're doing lately. We'll have another big project coming up. We'll be a multi-video series kind of thing. I've got something in mind. We'll maybe do that next week. I'm not sure. We've got some other things going on. But um, first things first. Uh, I want to say thank you to you guys. I, and I've had a lot of uh, emails and comments. Who was that Rolling Hill sign for? That was that seven series video series that we did. That was for John Peters. Has a huge uh, woodworking channel. He's back in uh, back east, and uh, I think it's John Peters Art and Home. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Uh, but thank you again, John. Um, I very much appreciate the collaboration. I hope you like your sign. Haven't heard from him. I think it's still in route. But I talked to him the other day. So um, anyway, that's who that uh, Rolling Hill sign was for. So that was that. Uh, now, here's one thing that you uh, that I may have mentioned before, but I may not have. When I answer emails, and I get dozens of emails every day, um, the way I, even though you guys send them to my email, I answer them with my cell phone. And when I answer them with my cell phone, because I type like a Neanderthal, uh, they now have this little dictation button. This is, uh, this is me and my wife texting back and forth. But right down here is a little, um, it's a little microphone. So when you click on that, you can actually speak into the phone and it types what you're speaking. So um, that's the way I answer, even though I'm in front of my PC when I'm answering emails at 4 o'clock every morning. Um, I actually generally do it. I also bring my email up in my phone and I do it. However, the downside of that is once in a while, I, if I don't double check the spelling on that, it will type some strange things. So if you guys ever get a response email from me and, um, and it's words that wouldn't normally be in an email, that's probably why. I try and double check and uh, spell check everything, but sometimes I miss, I miss the spell check. And every once in a while, the word bits, B-I-T-S, comes out as a different word. Um, and I'll just the letters on the end. Yeah, with the, yeah, that it may be um, the way you might call a female dog. Anyway, um, so I apologize for that because that's happened a couple times and everybody's always been really um, laughing and comical about it. But so if you get some strange stuff in there, it, it's just because I was I didn't double check the spell check. But anyway, all right. So I wanted to I wanted to explain that. Another thing, the SEOTDs, sign carvers of the day. If you guys send me a sign carver, you know, a sign that you've did and I add it to the sign carvers of the day and you don't see it for a week or two, here's why. Even though we just did one, we just did a, a like a 40 uh, sign carvers of the day episode. Here is the stack of sign carvers of the day and I take them in order. So I take them from the top and when I get new ones, I put them on the bottom. So it may be... A month, two months, I don't know. We're going to try and start doing bigger uh, Sign Carvers of the Day episodes more often. In fact, I think we'll do another big one next week and where we're doing maybe 40 or 50 of them. So that's why if you have sent me your picture and I've told you that it's going to be on Sign Carvers of the Day, that's why you haven't seen it yet. So that was that. All right, let's get into the demo. Believe it or not, we have a brand new transfer process. And... I think I have about 10 different transfer processes, but this one is really cool. So this one is for all you guys out there that have an inkjet printer. So I got an email about two weeks ago from a guy named Bill Higgins, and he says he uses freezer paper and prints it with an inkjet printer, and then it transfers right onto the board. I'm gonna show you how that's done. Actually, I've got some here that I did. This was done with an inkjet printer, both of these, all three of these. This was uh, when I picked my regular print, 
uh, when I was printing with my printer, and this was with the best print. You know how you have the uh, the options to print best or regular or uh, draft, but that was, these were printed regular and best, and then this one obviously was turned around. That we didn't reverse it. This was printed with best. Even shows the color and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you exactly how to go about it. Uh, both of all of those, by the way, were printed on pine without the uh, sanding sealer. Let me get my phone out of the way here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have got this same image as this one, and I have it printed. Bring it down a little bit so you can see. I have it printed on freezer paper. This one we reversed. Vicky printed it, or we printed it out of Rapid Resizer, actually. Yeah. And. To let you know what the freezer paper is, this is the freezer paper. I just got it at Walmart, right? Reynolds here. Yeah. yeah, Reynolds freezer paper. This is what it looks like. You buy that roll, that'll last you forever. Yeah, yeah. And so what I do is I just uh, cut the, uh, I cut them, and then I cut them in eight and a half by eleven sheets, and then I just run them through my printer. Now you have to print on the shiny side. There's a dull side, and then there's a shiny side. Does that show up in the camera? You have to print on the shiny side because that's what will help transfer. But this freezer paper, it's awesome. It works great. I'm going to show you right I think now. I a big roll was like, I don't know. Oh, it was like five four or five bucks, bucks yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So, um, so I've got a piece of pine here. Now this piece, this side is completely free of sanding sealer, but this side has sanding sealer. Now here's what I'm going to do. Generally, you guys know, I say I... Uh, as soon as I get my boards to the shop, I always put sanding sealer on them. So here's how I do this. I'm just going to take, anytime you put a finish or sanding sealer on the board, it causes the grain to kind of pop up. So I'm just going to take, and I'm just going to hand sand. This is some, uh, what is this, 220? Yeah, 220 uh, sandpaper. And I'm just going to kind of sand that lightly just to make sure it's nice and smooth and that grain is down. I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to put this... Are you going to carve, huh? you going to carve that one? No, I'm not going to carve this one. Okay. I'm, I'm going to carve... I'm, I'm showing this just because it has color. But the one I'm going to carve is I'm going to carve a bigger version of that. But we'll get into that on the next scene. I just want to show how this is transferred. I thought we talked about that. We did. Did you forget? I did. Okay. So all Sorry. I'm going to do is I am going to tape it down. Just use my little packing tape here. I'm actually going to tape it in all four or at the top and then I'm going to, I like it to lay flat as, as long as possible. I'm going to tape it in the corners as well. We okay? We good? Yeah. And look what I did. I ripped Vicky off for another he spoon. My spoon. I got another spoon. Anyway, right, I think I've this. Got is, one better that Gary I think did. this is like a dollar store. It is <laughs> special or something. So let's see if we can make this work. So now Bill says uh, to use a, a a wooden spoon, and it makes sense because it's kind of a. Um, this is almost almost a spatula, but it has a bigger surface, and it just uh, it seems to work a lot better. So all I'm going to do is just rub the heck out of that thing. And I hope this works. You can't really, unfortunately with this, you can't really see whether it's transferred or not by looking at the paper from this side. The more you do, obviously, the better it's gonna, it's gonna transfer. So what I'm been trying to do, and I've kind of been playing around with it now for a few days. I'm going to try and go from two different directions just to make sure that I've got pretty good coverage. But even if it doesn't cover, you can always lay it back down, which I've done, and you can lay it back down and go from the other from the other way, or or you know anything that you missed, you can do it again from the other direction. left-handed here, even though I'm right-handed. 
<laughs> See, I am just <laughs> multi talented. <laughs> Do it with both hands. Wow. Impressive, isn't it? Yeah. I'm I can impressed. see my wife is so impressed. Yeah. I sure hope this comes out. Oh, the other ones did. Huh? Oh, the other ones did. Yeah, the, the other, other ones one did. Doesn't. But this one's really big. So. All right, let's see what it looks like. We can always lay it back down and do it again. Not too bad. That's certainly good enough to carve from. Check that out, guys. That's with an inkjet printer, not a laser printer, an inkjet. This freezer paper, man, thank you so much, Bill. What a great, <laughs> what a great tip. So all of you guys that didn't want to go out there and buy a laser printer and use the, the lacquer thinner and the acetone and all this, check that out. Now, what I think what Bill, because he said in his little email that he waited about three minutes and then sprayed some clear on it, so he wasn't... He wasn't using it as a carving in this particular instance. He just was making plaques like for Christmas or something and just put some like clear over the top of it and he's done. How cool is that? <laughs> color and everything. Yeah, with the color and actually all the lines, that's, that's plenty good enough to carve by. I could have uh, probably a little bit better in here for the, for the, uh, the lettering. But um, anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do this same process off camera with uh, this in a big, on the back side of this, um, with a big image of the Joseph, Mary, and Jesus, uh, and then we're gonna carve it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our transfer done. Uh, like you saw the Merry Christmas, I went ahead and did this exactly the same. We've got uh, Joseph and Mary and Jesus here. And I, like you guys, have, if you guys seen me do these things before, I always like to have a copy of uh, a good printed copy next to here in case some of the lines become blurry or I kind of kind of miss where they are. I always like to have this to reference by. So we're going to carve some of this and uh, I think, oh, and we're, uh, we're using the profile bit. I don't, uh, I think this is all pretty good stuff. So I don't think I need to use the SC50. I'm using our standard profile bit. I think I may have to adjust the depth a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I'll make a, a cut here and then I'll know. So let's get into this and get this thing carved. So you guys can see what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, I gotta adjust my, my little light there. Put my cheaters on. Might not need them, but I'll put them on just in case. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, here we go. Ready, babe? Here we go.
Okay, I think you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't want it, this video to be like a marathon. So I'm going to go ahead and carve the rest of it offline uh, or off camera. And then uh, I'll come back. We'll spray it and sand it off. See what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the initial carving done, guys, and I'm about an eighth of an inch deep with that profile bit. But now, and there's some of it that I kind of took out with the profile bit, you guys saw me. But now I'm going to go down a little bit deeper to cut, uh, to cut some of this stuff away, and then I'll come back with the, um, the 90 degree V groove to take some of these big patches out. But um, So now I'm going to be somewhere probably, oh, 3 sixteenths, something like that. Um, and we'll see here what it looks like. Hang on, I've got to put my fingers on it. Finish this up, taking this little stuff out and kind of giving myself a little bit more room, and we'll come right back with the 90 degree. Okay, so we're going to use the 90 degree. This is the uh, two fluted 90 degree bit. That's the one we normally use for our background. But I'm just going to take out these pieces here, and we've, we've got our big router set up now with this. Here we go. Uh, about three sixteen deep. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all my little chunks out of there. Just brush it really good. I didn't put a put an edge on this, guys. Um, you can put whatever kind of edge you want, scallops or rounded with a bevel, rounded corners with a bevel, or if you wanted to go with a kind of a rustic edge and burn it. There's so many different things you can do with it. I just wanted to really show the carving. You guys have seen me spray plenty of time so I'm going to spray this off camera and let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll sand it off. All right it's all carved and sprayed and I want to show you guys something just to kind of reiterate what I've said before. If you look down in here down in those grooves see how it's a little bit lighter there than it is um, maybe here or here. Um, this doesn't have any sanding sealer on this side um, so I wanted to be really, really careful, and whether it did or not, honestly, I just, always with this pine, you just wanted to have a light touch with that spray can. Anyway, you'll see that once this is sanded off, that you won't even be able to tell that those spots in there are light. Anyway, so uh, let's get this thing sanded. Here we go.
Okay, so that was the first sand with the 40 grit belt. Now I've got like a 175. is that uh, in regards to the video that I did the other day about vacuuming versus blowing off you'll notice that anytime I blow this thing off if I'm going to touch it with a with a brush I'm always blowing off as I'm brushing with the other the other hand because I don't want to take any chance and rub that sawdust down into that black in this particular instance I don't really see any little uh, feathers or anything that I need to brush. So let's see what it looks like. We got one little spot there to touch up with a sharpie. Got one here somewhere. Had one. All right. There. Maybe right there. So that is it, guys. Can you hold it up? Yeah. These are pretty simple to carve. Uh, you just kind of, kind of uh, keep track of where you're at. And again, I always like to have. I don't know what happened to it. That's right. I Oh, it blowed on the floor with the yeah, air. The I, I always like to have the little image as I'm carving. So there's the, the small image. And, of course, it's reversed because of the way we did the transfer. But anyway, the main thing on this video was the transfer process. So anyway, that is it. Um, we'll end it there. And I uh, hope this was helpful to you guys. So this, I think, is going to be my new transfer process. That, that uh, freezer paper, man. That works really, really cool. So something Vicky wanted me to mention to you, we've got a lot of requests on that Rolling Hills sign. We've got a lot of different requests and, um, and questions about what font that was. That was a Bookman font, and we now have those. Uh, she just made them up. We now have those available on the website in all three sizes, or actually every size, from what, one inch up to six inch, I guess. So all the it, they'll all, by the time you guys see this they'll all be on the website. But that's our uh, new font. You guys the really Bookman. seem to like that. It's Bookman Bold, some, some kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, Bookman Semi Bold. But it's the same font that was on that Rolling Hills uh, sign that we just did. So um, a few final things. Oh, LTS is a week from tomorrow the on the thirtieth, last day of the month. So don't know what we're going to do yet, but we'll figure it out. So if you guys have questions, be sure and, uh, you know, we'll be doing the Facebook Live. It'll be from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock Arizona time on the 30th. Um, again, this was uh, uh, Select Pine. And, um, gosh, seemed like there was something else I was going to say. Um, but I guess that's it. Questions, let us know. Eric at makerwoodsign.com or Vicky with uh, Vicky with Dave Signs at gmail.com. Uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Thanks for all the support. Share this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. We sure appreciate all your support. And I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday morning. Have a great one. Bye-bye.